Indie subscriptions are much more fun than regular subscriptions. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, let me go ahead and move my water jug out of frame. Uh, you know, even though it is so beautiful and appealing. <laughs> I've mentioned in one of my videos that I lost my big water jug and it's like the only thing that can get me to drink water. I can't drink out of a regular cup to save my life. I have to have like a massive thing of water if I'm actually gonna be drinking it. And I lost my jug. So now I just have this simply light lemonade jug with a random fast food straw. And that is far too short for the actual bottle, so I have to like finger it out. That was a really kind of impressive clap. When did I get like a dad clap down? Today we're gonna be doing something kind of different for the channel because I'm only gonna be doing one box, which um, compared to how many boxes I have currently sitting around me right now is a very small number. It's also kind of a small number for what I typically do for beauty boxes nowadays. I used to do a lot of like one box unboxings, but I haven't been doing that recently because I feel like it's not interesting enough. I feel like if we did just like a one box unboxing a couple of times a month, I could get out a lot more content for you guys. And uh, you know, I could actually concentrate on the items inside of the boxes more, do like, you know, a face with them because that's me and my face is bare right now. So we're hopefully gonna slap some makeup on it. So let's go ahead and get on into this one. The Ice Cream Beauty Box has been one of my favorite boxes recently. This is a $25 subscription and you get free shipping. So that's really cool. What is that? Oh, I feel like there's typically a little card telling us about the items inside of here, but I'm not seeing that this month. It also feels a little bit on the lighter side, but this is one of the subscriptions that like actually comes with, you know, like makeup in it. I feel like especially recently, a lot of the other subscriptions I get are like really skincare heavy but this one typically has a good amount of makeup so that's why we're bare faced today ready to put on some makeup hey, you know you want to be up there with your brother i mean we'll just go up there see bone let's go ahead and pull out the first thing i was seeing in here which is really compelling uh it looks just like a fake flower in a little black tin this is from Swarovski. is that copyright infringement that sounds a lot like Swarovski. Sor Another giant bed right there, but he has to be wherever his brother is. Anyway, uh, Swarovski sounds a lot like, you know, the other one, Swarovski. You know, the people that make the shiny stuff. This, there's pink stuff on the, what is this? I've seen a blush before that reminds me of this and it was pretty cool. So it was like a fake flower, but the blush was somehow like on the rose petals and uh, you just kind of swirled your brush on top of it and then applied it like a blush. And that's like how the color was dispensed. But what's interesting about this is whatever color is on here looks like like wet. It doesn't look like a powdered blush. So I'm not really sure how they want you to apply this. There's absolutely no instructions. There's just a little bit of hot glue there on the bottom. Lordy mercy, that looks neon in the camera. It's looking a little like Pinterest craft project-y, but uh, I'm interested in seeing what it does. It's sticky. What is this? How do you apply it? Okay, there's definitely color like penetrating, saturating the rose, but I don't know what the color is necessarily for. It's quite sticky and it's very, very pink. I really wish there was some type of little card or something inside of the box that would tell us what this is because I'm honestly quite confused. It doesn't feel like it would be blendable enough to be like a liquid type blush. Maybe like a lip color or something, but there is kind of like a metallicness to it and it is pretty sticky and like how, how do you apply it? All right, so this one, I guess we'll, I'll attempt to try it on. I'm just gonna like assume you put it somehow on your face and then we'll move on from there later on. This is the problem for later me. Ooh, we have a liquid eyeshadow in here. Literally everything is gonna be covered in pink fingerprints. This is from Chantico Beauty. It says it's a duochrome liquid eyeshadow. That sounds really fun. So let's see what color it is. Oh, okay, so not exactly what I was anticipating. I was thinking, you know, based on how like pink my fingers currently are, oh, we're gonna see some pretty bold color. But this is actually just like a shiny white. Ooh. Ooh, it is duochrome though. All right, so duochromes typically don't show up in my camera too well, but this does have a nice shift to it. It's like a blue pink shift. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that or not. There's not much of any base color to it. It's pretty much just like a clear base with some glitter in it. Ooh, okay. Maybe once you put it on, don't just stop because it's getting a little chunky now as I'm trying to like layer over top of it. But I could see this being kind of fun just on the lids, you know, like lightly on top as like a glitter. Or if you're into like a really shiny kind of chunkier highlight, you could also use this as a highlight. It feels very cold on my hands. Like there's an extra cooling effect happening on the back of my hand. Next up here, we have something from Beauty For Certain and I've received something from them before, but I did, there was no, like it didn't tell me Beauty For Certain on it. It just said BFC and I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but this is from Beauty For Certain. This is a Cabo Rojo highly pigmented gloss. Ooh, I'm assuming this is gonna be a red gloss, which I'm just now trying to envision my face with this like hot pink stuff on my cheeks and this is shiny iridescent stuff 
my lids with a red gloss. It's cute though. Oh, it's not red at all. I was absolutely anticipating this to be like a very, very red gloss, but uh, no, it's not. If you guys can see from the packaging there. And I really like the packaging. I think that's kind of cute, a little bit different. I don't think I've ever seen packaging with like the little like logos, like going from the cap all the way down to like the actual tube. I like that. And I like the combination of the orange and the, I almost said green. What is that? Blue, blue. It does say it's a highly pigmented gloss, but this looks, um, clear. <laughs> like this looks basically clear. There might be like the tiniest little hint of like pink to it, but that looks incredibly clear to me. Ooh, smells good. Smells cakey. I don't know why I'm getting out a mirror to put on a basically clear gloss. I feel like that should be, you know, pretty, pretty easy to accomplish. Mm hmm. Well, no, uh, you know, as far as the gloss goes, I don't know if I would necessarily call this highly pigmented. <laughs> There's no pigment to it. Cabo Rojo. I mean, like that's, I would automatically assume for a highly pigmented gloss, it would be some type of red. Maybe even like kind of like a corally red. This is just, it's, it's clear. It's, this is fully clear. All right. Next up in here, we have a little stick. The stick has some weight to it. Oh, okay. So this is from Gerard Cosmetics. I'm fairly certain that little GC looks familiar. If you guys don't know, Gerard Cosmetics is where my entire YouTube channel got its start. My very first YouTube video I ever made was about Gerard Cosmetics and how I thought they were um, being a little bit shady about their lipstick practices. So this is a lip pencil in the shade Bel Air and the color actually looks really nice. It's just a fairly standard pink. What is not fairly standard pink is this pink stuff that has stained everything I own. Mainly my skin, but everything I touch now is pink. And everything I touch is now a little bit pink. I guess I could wait till I actually do a full face to try this on. I might look a little bit chilly with just some like lip liner and nothing else on. Yeah, let me let me just wait just a second as I continue to go back and do it. I'll go ahead and do a little swatch of it. Ignore the swatches from yesterday. Those also stain. Um, so <laughs> that is a nice pink shade. There is a bit of like warmth to it, a little like peach undertone. Um, but yeah, I kind of like it. It's swatched actually really smooth and creamy though, so that is nice. And let me just have one thing left inside the box, which I'm very excited that we have this in here. I'm assuming this is an eyeshadow palette. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, the color. Oh, I'm going to be quite colorful. I can only assume based on the outer packaging here, you know, with the Rubik's cubes and just the way that this looks that we're going to look very um, 1980s today, which there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. The 80s were a fun time. <laughs> um, okay, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much exactly what I was anticipating. This looks like just pure Lisa Frank in an eyeshadow palette. This is rollerblading, you know, with spandex on. This is from Gourmand Girls and Cosmic Peaches. This is the virtual palette. And I'm just kind of nervous because I haven't really done like a ton of colorful looks like ever, but at the same time excited because typically we're not seeing these shades in like an Ipsy. You know what I mean? So even though I might not get a ton of use out of this palette, I think I'm going to have fun trying to create a look with this. Um, I think I might go with like maybe pinks. I don't know. My fingernails are pink, so I could kind of match. But then also this corner down here, kind of like the blues could be fun. I don't know. I might go with pinks though, because we also have to like take into consideration this. <laughs> Just don't know what it's for. Dive on floor. I hate the summer. The summertime in Kentucky means when you open up the door, when you open up the door to let your dogs go out to the bathroom, instantly flies get in. What a dreadful season. <laughs> Man, I'm so distracted by this vlog. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in and just start doing the base of my face. Okay, so the base of the face is done and now we're moving on to the, the, the blush rose thing. I really, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this on my cheeks or my lips. I don't, I don't know. There's no instructions. It doesn't say what it is. I just feel like this is, I just feel like it's not gonna blend super great. At least when I got it on my fingers and tried to like blend it out, it didn't blend very well. So I'm gonna try it with with a brush and just see if I can even get anything like onto the brush. I really wish my hot glue would have held because it's kind of hard to swirl it around in here. I feel like I'm getting something on here. It's a little hard to tell on this brush, but this is so sweet. Um, one of the viewers here on the channel uh, came into my store and they gave me a birthday gift. They gave me a couple of brushes and a little makeup bag and I think a homemade bread. It was very, very sweet and I, I really appreciate them. So I'm going to try this and see if it, oh my gosh, is it working? I feel like I get if I can't go too intense with this because it's so pink, but I think it's working. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right, I need to go like so super gentle, so super gentle with it. All right, keep in mind what I'm seeing right here in real life versus what's happening on the screen looks very different. So in real life, this looks like kind of like a nice subtle rosy pink and on the screen here, I'm looking like a straight up clown. Um, I don't, I don't know why, but I just feel like the camera picks up more red tones. Maybe it is a little bit pink. Let me just try to blend that out a little bit more with a non-blushed brush. Okay, that's looking a little bit more subtle, all right. 
variety. Okay, so you know what? This is a very interesting concept. I was definitely skeptical of it, and I still am a little bit skeptical. Um, I wish it kind of held together a bit better, and I have no idea, like, how, how much is in here? How many uses can you get out of this? Because you can't really say like, oh, it's this many ounces because you will, you, yeah. <laughs> how are you gonna know? Plus, I feel like a lot of the actual color is here on the base. Like I'm fairly certain those leaves were green at one point, but if your flower is actually still stuck down to that container there, you're probably not gonna get to the bottom of it. It is cute though. It's different and uh, you know, I like trying different things, so fun. It, it, this could maybe not even be a blush and I could just be doing the entirely wrong thing with it. That's a good possibility. But you know what? If you wanna use it as a blush, it works. I I think I feel like I just have to go with these pinks. I mean, my nails are shiny pink, my cheeks are pink, and then the uh, lip color that we got is pink as well. So I feel like I need to go with these pinks down here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just go ahead and clean the only eyeshadow brush I can find on my pants real fast. They're black leggings, it'll be fine. I'm gonna start here with the shade Hot Lime, which is just a really pinky to pink. It's, it just, it's pink. And that's just gonna be kind of my all over fluffing out transition-y color. I don't know I'm playing. I can only name you one thing. Okay, it's going on. It's definitely leaving the unit you know, color we can we can see that it's depositing pigment down a little bit difficult to work with I feel like it's kind of clinging in one spot and it's a little hard to blend out all right now that that is on I'm gonna go in with the shade euphoric here and just kind of put that over top on just the lid just to give it a little bit more brightness oh yeah I think that's actually working I'm really trying to like pack it on there real good eh. okay now with my finger I'm gonna go into the shade glitch Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that shift. Oh, I didn't expect it to be so dew crummy like that. I thought it was just gonna be kind of pink. There's like a pinkish kind of purple shift to it. That's real pretty. Okay, that's gonna go right here. Well, dang, I was gonna use that liquid uh, liquid eyeshadow, but this is kind of doing exactly what I was expecting the other shadow to do. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but that is fun. That is such an interesting look. It almost looks... I don't know how to explain that. It looks so, it almost looks like a sheer kind of like shiny fabric on my lid. That's really different. I don't know why this kind of like shimmery, almost velvety looking pink shifting eyeshadow is giving me uh, my date with the president's daughter. But that dress, you guys remember that dress? Are you old enough to remember that dress? I certainly am and I love that dress. I would still wear that to this day. All right, things got a little out of hand on this side over here. I have shiny stuff where I did not want shiny stuff. That's okay. I'm just coming to the conclusion that like indie subscriptions are much more fun than regular subscriptions I swear like you never see a palette like this in a regular like big name subscription box okay because I do want to try to use just about everything I am also gonna use this shimmery stuff but I'm wondering maybe I'm gonna go in the inner corners first and then maybe just a little bit right here just to bring in some extra highlight but honestly it does kind of blend straight into the other eyeshadow yeah I don't even know if you can see a thing I think I'm just gonna put more glitch over top of it that's the name of this pink shade up here because I think pressing it over that kind of tacky liquid eyeshadow will make it even shinier. I think I'm just gonna concentrate this in the inner corner and I might even do, uh oh, is my makeup coming off? And I might even do what I said about making it kind of like a highlight. So I might put some on the back of my hand and then just tap it with my finger along my cheeks. Just a little interesting sparkle. Oh no, this liquid shadow took off my makeup underneath. Oh no, <laughs> that was like a black hole right there. Okay, let's just see if I can cover it up with more. Nope. Nope, I cannot. Oh dear. Oh no. Dang nibbit. Okay, I kind of want a little bit more of like a sharp pink edge right there. So I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and go back into that hotline shade and just like really make a sharp kind of pointy uh, eyeshadow edge. Eh, if I don't poke myself. Ah! <laughs> I poke myself in the eye. It's definitely better on that side. I don't know what I did over here. I feel like I just want a little something extra just like right there on like the, 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 the rounded part of my eye. Just like where the eyeball is at its highest. Um, so there's this shade down here called Vice. And it's this really pretty, almost kind of like bluish silver shade. And I'm thinking maybe I could put a tiny, tiny touch right there. There might be enough contrast. It might stand out enough to give me that little extra hint of shimmer and shine. Does that work at all? I feel like in real life it's working, but I don't really see it on the camera. All right, I'm gonna go do some eyeliner real fast and then some lashes if I can find any, and then I'll be right back. All right, so my eyeliner and mascara are done and I found purple eyeliner. I just did unboxing like yesterday. Oh yeah, purple. I did an unboxing yesterday of this purple eyeliner from a subscription. I don't remember which one it was, but I have purple eyeliner <laughs> to go with this very uh, kind of purpley pink look and I couldn't find any eyelash glue so I have no eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. I do have a couple of real eyelashes that I put mascara on if you guys can see. But now I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this lip liner. I might just use this liner as like my entire lip color. That is really creamy and smooth actually. 
It tastes a little old. <laughs> it tastes a little on the old side for some reason. I don't know why. I think if I was doing this look not using everything from inside of this box, I might do something that's a little bit more just like kind of a sheer kind of pinky look. Uh, but I am going to put some of this highly pigmented gloss over top of it. Hopefully it doesn't change the color too much. I do actually like this lip color though. This is something I would wear like regularly. I think I want just a little extra hit of pink right here on the apples of my cheeks and maybe the tip of my nose just to go with this look. Alright you guys, so here is the finished look with everything put together from the box and uh, I, I like it. I think it's really fun. It definitely would be a look I would wear for something very specific. Uh, you know, like going out somewhere or maybe like, you know, if I wanted to feel really sparkly and uh, pink and pretty for my birthday or something or if I was going to like a concert or something wouldn't be my personal everyday go-to kind of look but I do think it is fun everything is very shiny and shimmery and I love the transition from like the blues to the pinks on the eyes oh, maybe that was a bad idea so I put the purple eyeliner in my waterline just a second ago before I started filming this clip and now it's kind of itchy maybe that shouldn't be in there I scratched that out all right you guys so that was everything inside of the ice cream beauty box and you know what? i just think these indie subscriptions are just they're just a little bit more fun than the regular subscriptions they got stuff in there that's a little bit weirder which i kind of like it might not be like the most everyday kind of wearable makeup stuff but at least it's it's fun it's it's a good time it's fun to put on it's fun to experiment with and um uh, yeah I, I i liked everything in here i thought it, i thought it was pretty good let me know your thoughts down below in the comments do you like these kinds of boxes do you prefer the more like big name brand boxes with more big name brand items inside of them or do you prefer like the more like small indie kind of stuff. Also, are you guys okay with just doing like a one-off box every now and then and not doing like big massive videos for every video? I'm just hoping it'll help me get out like more content to you guys, more videos on a regular basis. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!